Hello and welcome to your class here. This is the second video in the series Quill Profile. And in this video, we are going to discuss on the Tamil writer Bama. Bama is a Tamil Dalit writer, activist and feminist. She was born on 14 March 1958 in Puthupati in Tamil Nadu. Her real name is Faustina Mary Fatima Rani. Her mother is Sebastiama and her father is Zusai Raj and he was working in Indian Army. Her brother is a famous Dalit writer and his name is Raj Gaudaman. From a very young age, she read a lot of works and she was influenced by Tamil writers Jayagandan, Akhilan, Mani and Parthasarathy. She was also influenced by Khalil Gibran and Rabindranath Tagore. The major themes of her writings are caste and gender discrimination, especially in Christianity and Hinduism. She considers writing as a political act and a weapon to fight against such injustice. Now let's have a glimpse of her works in detail. First of all, we are going to discuss her novels. Her first novel, Karuku, was published in 1992 and it was written in Tamil. It is an autobiographical novel and it is one of the first autobiographies by a Tamil Dalit woman. She once said that, That book was written as a means of healing my inward wounds. I had no other motive. The major themes of this novel include identity, her identity as a Dalit, as a Christian and as a woman. And unlike most of the autobiographies, it follows a non-linear narrative and she writes her both happy and sad moments in her life. And the major concern of the novel is how caste oppression is an integral part of everyday life. She also describes in detail how she worked for Nikers, how she faced humiliation in school and her experience in a convent where she spent seven years. Her second novel, Sankadi, was published in 1994. It was translated to English as Events. And it also describes a double oppression of women, in, especially from Dalit community, as a Dalit and as a woman. And it also describes about the women in Parayar community in Tamil Nadu. The novel is divided into 12 chapters and it has more than 35 characters. Vilayama Kedavi, Mariamma, Pichiyamma, Manikyam, Kumarasamiyaya are some of the prominent characters in this novel. It is about the independence of a Tamil Dalit woman and in that she says, We must show by our own resolute lives that we believe ardently in our independence. Her third novel, One Mum, was published in 2002. It was translated to English as Vendita. It is about intra-caste division that suppress Dalit uprising. The novel has rivalry between two Dalit communities, the Pallas and Parayas. They fight in the name of Immanuel Shekharan and Ambedkar. It discusses how the so-called upper caste uses this rivalry for their advantage. The Naikas encourage Pallas to fight against Parayas. Marasu is a Parayan and he is working for Ranga Nayikar and Karupasami is a Parlan who is working for Palanivelu Nayikar and the rivalry between them is the major theme of this novel. Manushi is a 2011 novel and the title means Woman. It is about a woman living independently in a patriarchal society. She also authored more than 50 short stories and some of the famous collections include Kusumbu Karan which was translated to Harem Skerem Sar and other stories. It included 10 stories and was published in 1996. Uru Tatavum Erumayum is another collection that was published in 2003 and Kondatam is another collection that was published in 2009. She is also a recipient of several awards. She received Crossword Book Award 2000 for her novel Karuku. And she received Virtual Dalit Literary Award in 2024 and Avayar Award in 2024. Writer Mangai finds Bama's women protagonist quarrel, laugh and fight with their husbands and lead their lives alone. She says they are survivors, they are not heroic. Thank you for watching.